perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, look. I've seen these fuzzy sweaters all over Instagram. Avia? Avia? Where is my Nike? Mom? 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 I don't know where mom went. Hi, guys, it's Jordan, and today I'm going to be showing you the 10 different types of shoppers. Ooh! So, there are a lot of different people who like to go shopping different ways, and. I've been shopping with a few of these people, um, Mom and Audrey, <laughs> and so I want to give you different examples of different types of shoppers because I've also seen my friends, they shop differently than other people, so I just realized that there's different types of people. So I'm gonna show you the top 10 stereotypes of like different types of shoppers. So the number one is the practical shopper, and this one is like the normal shopper. They know exactly what they need, they just they're just gonna go in and like they're if they need like food from the grocery store they're just gonna go and get their food for their meals that they're gonna make that week and like they're really practical they buy only the things that they need and then they check out okay I made my list of things that I need to buy for this week for dinner lunch and breakfast so oh I need this okay I need this for dinner so I can cross that off that's right okay I also need yogurt I only need one bottle though of yogurt for this week. Perfect, cross it off the list. Okay, I also need cheese, and then I think I will have my list complete and I'll be good for this week. This looks really good, these candies, but it, there's like no room for it in the budget. It's not on my list, it's just not practical, so I don't think I'm gonna get it, but like, they look so good, but it's not on the list, so gotta keep going. Okay, I did need new pajamas, and these are like super cute. They're super fun and like funny and stuff. They're a cow onesie. But like, I don't think that's very practical. <sighs> Probably just go with the like practical option. Number two is the impulse buyer. Oh no, I have a feeling a lot of people do this. So usually it's online shopping where they see it online or something and they're like, oh my gosh, that's really cool. And it's usually late at night and then they see it and then they just buy it because they're like, oh my goodness, I want this so bad. And so it's an impulse buy, but yeah, <laughs> doesn't turn out that well. Yes. A new iPhone. I definitely need one of those. Ah. Mm. Oh, well. Guess I'll look for something else. A new 50 inch TV. You know, I've got a 40 inch TV. My eyesight is getting worse. I wasn't planning on buying a TV, but I think I'm gonna get one right now. And I'm gonna get that one right there. Perfect. <laughs> yes. yes. It didn't really come for any of this stuff, but I mean, why not? I'm so hungry, and you should not shop when you're hungry. These pies look delicious. They come for pie, but I gotta get pie. <laughs> this next one is the brand loyal shopper. So like, there's some people who only buy like just Nike, and they will not touch Adidas, or like vice versa. And so they're very loyal to a certain brand, and they will only buy that brand, and sometimes if you're shopping with them, It'll be a little bit annoying because if you are like, oh my goodness, this is really cute, they'll be like, no, that's the competing brand. <laughs> I can't find my Nike. Look, Apartment West, what kind of brand is that? Who carries Nikes anymore? Come on, I need my Nikes. Need my Nikes. My Nikes. Find my Nikes. Still can't find my Nikes. These are not even close to Nikes. Find my Nikes. Where are my Nikes? Nikes, Nikes, Nikes. All right, I need my Nike shoes. The B. The B. What is the B? Avia? Avia? Where is my Nike? I need my Nike. If I don't have my Nike, I'm not gonna have very comfortable feet. I need my Nike. All right, come on, Nike, Nike, no Nike, no Nike. Uh, Nike! I just, just do it. Okay, I'm in a shoe store that sells only shoes. There's thousands of shoes around me. Uh, I'm in heaven. This next one is the social shopper, meaning that they saw the thing that they want to buy on social media before they came to the store and bought it. So it's something that's really trendy. This person is usually like super trendy and in with like all the newest things and stuff. And so they saw it on social media and they're like, I want to buy this. And then they go into the store and they buy it. Oh my gosh, guys, look. I've seen these fuzzy sweaters all over Instagram. And they have three colors. Wait a second. I've definitely seen this on TikTok. So we bought Randy's on TikTok. <gasps> And this one's on, this one's been all across Twitter. Okay, I have to get these. I just, I just have to get them. These are so trendy. Number five is the informed shopper. And this is my mom. <laughs> this is like the person who does all the research before they buy the product. So they'll check all the reviews. They'll price check everything beforehand. And they'll just make sure like they have it in their size at the store before they even go. They just want to make sure that everything's going to work perfectly. And that the product is going to be great. Good. 
good, but no, Tide got more reviews. Ooh, with bleach? Yeah, I remember reading about the Tide with bleach. This had good reviews. 1896. Oh, was that a good price? Oh, maybe I could pull it up on my phone and double check. I think this was a good price. Ah, oh, why isn't the Wi-Fi working here? Um, hmm, could I have saved a few pennies? You know what, I'm just gonna get it. I think this is a good price and this is definitely a good brand. Number six is the reluctant shopper and this is my brothers and my dad. <laughs> Meaning they, they do not want to be there. They're like the I don't want to be here shopper. And so usually we have to drag them to the store to go get stuff. So like if we go to the grocery store, my brothers are always like, no, I don't want to go to the store. And then we have to like drag them along and they don't like shopping at all. <laughs> okay Ty, I want to go to this store right here because I really no, need some I lotion. Wanna do, I want to go to the game shop. Well, I, mom said you have to stay hours in there. Uh, well, mom said you have to stay with me. So come on, let's go to the game store. You're gonna take well, hours in there. Come on, let's just go. Mom said I just need lotion. Let's go. Can we go yet? No, I gotta find my favorite scent. Come on, take hours. I won't be that long. I just I gotta find it. They have the new fall stuff out, and so I gotta find it. it has my favorite smell. Come on, let's go. It smells really good. Ooh. Oh. Okay, one more story time. I just need this whole mess for Like, I want to just pop in here really fast so then I can find some cute stuff. Come on, come on. One more store. Come on. Next up is the determined shopper. And this is the person who knows exactly what they want and where it is. And they're just going to book it into the store, grab the item, check out, and go. And they're really fast at shopping. They're just like, they know what they want and they can just do it super fast. Okay, my theme for this year is pirates. I just gotta get pirates. I can't be distracted by anything else. Pirates, pirates, pirates. No, pirates, 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 pirates. Oh, where can they be? Where are the pirates costumes? Found it. Now we gotta find some pirate decorations. Where can they be? This is not pirate anything. Okay, skeletons. There's some skull. No, here's some other stuff. Okay, I think skeletons will go along with my pirate. There's a two-headed skeleton, a turtle skeleton, all the pirate stuff. The next shopper is the lost shopper, meaning that this person got lost in the store and they either lost their mom or they are in the parking lot and they can't find their car. And I've definitely lost my mom in the store before and it's so nerve wracking. But yeah, they're, they're lost in the store. <laughs> Mom? 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 I don't know where mom went. Mom? 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 Okay, I've been looking for my mom. I can't find her. I have no idea where she went, but... Oh, excuse me, sorry. I'm trying to find my mom. Um, I think I'm lost in the store. I honestly don't know, like, I don't know where she is. I gotta keep looking. Mom! Mom! I don't know where my car is, and it's raining! My car looks like all the other cars in this parking lot. I can't remember where I parked! I'm so lost! Oh, no! I'm gonna be soaked. I'm gonna have to walk home and be soaked. Oh. The next one is the shoplifter, and this one is a no-go. People should not do this one. This is this will put you in jail. No to the shoplifter. It's a bad decision. But this is a person who takes things without buying them. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Lastly is the indecisive shopper and not gonna lie this one's kind of me <laughs> Because I'm just super indecisive and so this shopper will see the item and they'll be like oh this is super cute But am I gonna wear it a lot or like but am I gonna use this a lot? Is there another product that's cheaper that like does the exact same thing like and then they'll research online or something And they'll search around the entire store looking for any other like better items or something and yeah they're just very indecisive they can't decide if they want to buy something or not this is totally me oh my goodness okay there's so many options here these are really cute but i want to make sure like i'll wear them a lot oh my goodness i can get this one in green or pink or tan i don't know i can't decide are you kidding me they're all so cute oh my goodness this is gonna take me forever okay pink green or green or tan which one would i wear the most is it i don't know oh my god Oh my goodness, this shirt is so cute. Well, it has two colors, so I can't decide. I don't know, what if there's one at a better price though towards the back of the store? There probably is like a long sleeve shirt towards the back. Oh, there's so many options, I can't decide. Okay, okay, those are the 10 different types of shoppers. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below, 
which type of shopper are you? I'm definitely indecisive. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the subscribe button from red to gray. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!